are joining us today. They all have things to share. They've all been working on their things. So this is a cross-stitch channel where we're going to talk about our cross-stitching and other stuff. Other things, yeah. I have other things. If you're new, welcome. We hope you enjoy our random chats. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. Yeah, it's what? August 8th today, 2021. And we're together. Together. We were in my house. Over our family came over the mountains. So normally we're on Zoom together um, because we live a few hours away, but we came over to speak at a church this morning about the work that my husband and I do in our community. So we get to quick do a little recording. Do a little recording before they have to buzz out of here again. Yeah. I have some surprises to show you. I have some fully finishes. Can you believe it? If you know me and you watched for long, if you know us, <laughs> you know that we don't often have fully finishes. So the story behind this is everybody went to bed around 10 30, 10 15, one night, my husband went to bed and I was like, I think I'm going to fully finish some projects at 10 30 at night. Okay. I don't know what got into me. Well, one of the things was that I was cleaning out some stuff and I found this frame and I thought oh. that'll fit the one that mom so last week, mom showed this one as her fully finish or well, her no, finish. previous finish. And I had also stitched it and I had just found it not long ago in a pile of it's stuff. Perfect. So I thought, oh, it's a perfect color. So I thought, well, I'll just quickly go fully finish that with some sticky board down in my, like I have a craft area in mm -hmm. one of our extra rooms. So this was a Hummel cross stitch that I stitched. I mean, I don't even know how many years ago, high school, like at least 15, 20. What year did you graduate? Well, I graduated in 02. So, so sometimes is, is before you before graduated, that. probably, but I didn't write a date. I should always make sure I'm doing a date. I'm not. So good they at were that. probably the 1990s when we did those. Probably, because I quit stitching about so 2006. So I wouldn't have yeah. done that. That wouldn't have been would have one of the last things that. I did. I was doing more complicated things than that when I quit. I was doing mostly Shepherd's Bush in the 2000s. Yeah, so it must have been, yeah, 90s. And it's just sat in a pile of stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, Good but this shot. is the other one. Oh, right she here. said she has something current. Something more current. Oh, I so I stitched just... this last summer, right? The Jardin Privé. I almost pulled it out to work on today. Oh, I love this one. It's the patchwork ete oh. pattern. And this isn't exactly how I originally thought I was going to finish it. I was going to do like kind of a wall hanging. And I just, I was feeling like it's going to take me so much thought and energy to try and figure out a cute border because I'm not a quilter and I don't sew very much. So I took, I'd, and I had lost the fabric. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in my junk. So I ended up just taking a long narrow strip and making it into a back. Aww. Stitch in some lace that I just had on hand onto the edges. It's not perfect by any sense of the word i know but, but so now i can cute. finally display my garden privé that i love you know this so pattern much. did it get dirty what's on it oh something got on it maybe in my mm. backpack i don't know well mm -hmm. i that'll wash out yeah but, but the thing about this pattern it's like like five colors you're bouncing the table there's hardly any flash colors in it's here so but it looks vibrant so vibrant yeah, here I can hold it up close. I loved stitching this. It was mm -hmm. really fun to stitch. And I think I worked on it every single week, multiple times. <sighs> Whoa, car just slammed on its brakes. I almost feel like it hit something. It might have. Yikes. We're out in my backyard. You never know what you're gonna hear out here. Last night we heard people fighting a few horse houses down. <laughs> it was kind of fighting. Well, they her. might have been having a party. Yeah. They were making a lot of noise. You know what? So, yeah, this would be places. Oh my gosh. Okay. What? There's a couple oh. spots on it. Maybe it... on the table and I no, I didn't even have them on the table. No. You have to get like a ziploc baggie to put it in before you put it back in your backpack. Yeah. I think this is one of those patterns that you could do like one motif a day. Yeah, like easily. you're doing your trees. I mean, a couple of the motifs are bigger, right. like the tractor, right? Or, the... or do half a motif, but yeah, you know, I like... pretty much did that, and pro I might have done two a day sometimes. So cute! I love. Oh, it. now the I'm, red I'm inspired. Is so, so now you'll have to finish it too. 
I will, because it's a cute summer. I just, you know, guys, I look around my house and I'm thinking, okay, I'll bring out a previous finish. I don't have anything other than my Alicia Paulson summer storm. You don't have anything summer. I don't really out. have anything summer. I don't have to do that one. I don't really have anything ever out because so I like haven't finished ladybugs. anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I, I know. need to. My well, I have my summer. I do have my Lily Violet, my little girls. Yeah, you do. It's I do have your... that out. Oh, okay. who's going to take the pattern? Lacey, Lacey when you're done. Mm-hmm. Oh, because I, I have yours. Okay. There's a couple of these. Okay, I have somebody patting me continually over here. Nothing else? Really ready to go. That's all my full oh, okay. finishes. Oh, I just I, did two. Oh, okay. I thought maybe. Yeah. No, no. Okay. 10.30 at night. That's about all I can handle. That was a lot. That time. I know. I did Especially sewing. I know. <coughs> I was pretty Excuse impressed me. with how well I did I that love it. On my own. I love it. I do too. Okay. All right, lady. It's not a bee. It's a Okay, so we've got a girl. We got several all girls have something to share today. Several things often. Mm-hmm. Starting with this. It how may about not... we don't do this one yet? Okay. It may not look together. like much, but I just packaged it for the road. So it would fit in my bag. Oh, this is all we worked on. So Mm-hmm. Never mind. I was thinking you had some classes to show too, but you don't. So who made this? Millie made this for me. It is purse. a great purse. Oh, cute. So yes, yeah, so there's been a lot of hand sewing in our house this week. Just on so their it's own. a purse and it unbuttons. What is it? No guidance. Okay. Hang on. Yeah, hands off the tables. Move away from the table. You can come right over here. Okay, so we've got. Come here. over here. Come over here. So uh, unbuttons. Where are you going? Here. Here. Okay. Come back over here. Here, I'll slide. So she cut. So it's unbuttons. There we go. And then if you look inside, it's got a little pocket somewhere on the side. Here. Right here. Oh, there's a little pocket inside. Mm. Oh, somebody was raiding my. uh Uh-oh. I think we need to reinforce the lace. Mm -hmm. A little bit. So As you, yep. you might imagine, I had nothing to do with so any of these, either. so we'll so see if they hold up. Sewed it all up and put little lace on it. Very cute. Hand sewed, not machine sewed. Uh huh. Very cute. And I've got plenty of more hand sewed things to show you. Okay. This is a mini pouch. So it's. I made this one. For I am friend. This, it's for my friend. And it goes pouch. in there. Mm-hmm. And the lid and it can be a nice little ring or earring holder for traveling. Or yeah. Actually, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Where'd you guys find all this felt at? Mom, mm-hmm. just had a basket. Oh, book. okay. This is a needle book for Rosie. How come Rosie doesn't get to show this? Since she gave to oh, yes. Oh. Rosie should get to show this. You will show this, Rosie. You're going to show that one? And you'll okay. say I will read it, of course, because I did. Oh, and who's this for? This is for mom. So it's got needles poked in it right now, but I fabric markered that and then stitched along it. Mm. And then it opens up, and these are the pins that are holding this in place right now. Okay, I haven't, haven't stitched it. it yet. Yeah. Ah. Finished it yet. Very cute. <laughs> Very cute. And I've also got some knitting to show. Oh, knitting. She's on her knitting kick now. Where's your knitting? So I finished a doll scarf. Uh, the other day. Did you bring it? No, I oh. forgot to bring it. So it's a different color than this one, though. Okay, it's like a cotton one. candy color. The other one is. But we oh, showed yeah. that, I think, last week when you were almost uh-huh. done with it. <laughs> You're about to lose the stitch there. Just poke it up. This one? Yep. There you go. So okay. I cast this on for you, but everything else, she just took the it cast like on it. Three just, days. This is a doll scarf, mm-hmm. too? For which for doll? For my teddy. For your teddy bear. Oh, okay. Very nice. Very nice. I love it. I love okay, the knitting. Who's going next? Okay. Millie is coming next. Come on over. Oh, here. my here. stuff. Thanks. Okay. There we go. And we'll show these things at the I end know. together. Well, I, you can all three share your things. Yes. Um, maybe do yes, maybe maybe that. Maybe. Yeah, I'll share it when I share maybe my stuff. Share I know, but I want to share I'll tell you that you did it, but I'm going <laughs> to share it. Well, well we're gonna... does it really matter? You're here now, and okay. she made me something too. So when I do my sharing, I'll show it to you. Okay. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I made this for my friend Lily. Little envelope pouch. Mm-hmm. A little pouchy. Okay, and it opens up. Mm-hmm. We all probably open that. <laughs> <laughs> and this for my friend Alice. 
So that opens up two. Oh, what's that? This yeah. for my other friend Adeline. Oh, drawstring pouch. Oh, cute. Did you sew those the inside fabric on or just line them up together and then yes. stitch through? Mm, and this is a button bracelet for my friend. Uh huh. Oh, got one. And it buttons. Inside. Oh, you could like make it customized what size, huh? Yeah. So hmm. I did this with fabric markers. Mm hmm. I colored it. Mm hmm. And I made. I Lots of lucky friends. These co op friends. Mm -hmm. So. Church friends. This one's for me. Ooh. Cute. Okay, I also made a Really video. cute. Where is that? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, you can just show it next time. How about you yep. show your cross stitch? Show your cross stitch now. And here's another one. Oh, here's another one. Really? Yeah. So cute. This is what, you know, when people say, let your kids be bored, this is what my kids do instead of being bored. They just go downstairs and I don't see them for I'm hours. <laughs> so she's working on her. Swan princess. Swan princess. Well, last she... week she just had those flowers done, which actually we had to take the, the back. Wait, stitching which back flowers did she have done? On the wing. Oh, oh, so she just had these. And we ended done. up having to take that back stitching out because she realized that you have to do the other stitches before you put the back stitching on top. Oh yes. On the wing. So, you guys see it? I finished the oh, wing. Well. And finished. I started on the, the blue. Okay, so she finished the blue uh -huh. wing. Oh and wow! Here, hold it a little. So they came in the door little. yesterday. They were just bursting with excitement to show me these things. Yeah, she was working hard on I know. this stuff. Did you work on this in the car on the way over here yesterday? Nope. Nope. No, they kept track of all the cars that we were driving by. Oh, you're playing oh, that kind of game. Yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. And what kind of cars? And I finished the book. book. I started it when we left, and then I finished. Okay, Rosie, Rosie come show us your stuff. Oh. Oh. Wait, 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 wait a second. That this is, is yours, That's mine. That's mine. Okay. That's okay. Let's um, here, here, here. I need to go get Rosie so we can show her a little. I'm taking. I need to go get Rosie so we can show her little thingies. Yeah. Oh yeah, tell her to come back. Okay. Okay. And Rosie did some sewing too, some hand sewing, creative things. This is Liddy. I mean, this is mine that Liddy gave me. A little needle book. Uh huh. Oh, the sun came up. Hmm. She stitched that up. So cute. It has buttons on the front. Mm -hmm. Look at that little car over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. what else? And I stitched this pillow. So cute. Wait, it was all by herself. All, all by herself, or did you choose yourself? Nope. Oh, no, How about the buttons? You did the buttons too. Like yeah, you did the buttons by yourself thing. too. Looking good. This is for Lovey Pepper. Oh, for but her little stuff. She did all of the stitching. Mm -hmm. Proud of you. Okay, okay this is this. what. Wait, let's show your picture. Frosted pumpkin stitchery called Ten Pals. This is what she's working on. Ooh, it's kind of dark. I'll hold it up close. It'll probably light. There it up. goes. There you go. Little girl with a little. So last time stuff. you had the little heart done and a little bit of the board. Yeah, she only had this little heart and a little bit up here. Oh, so prepare to be amazed. Hold your breath. <gasps> what is it? Show us. Wow. wow. So she got the little yeah. girl's yeah. head done. Wow. Good job. Woo, 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 woo. Isn't that cute? Aren't you proud of yourself for all of that stitching you did? We're gonna, we decided we we're gonna take out the white and put, and although in this light it looks pretty good, but yeah, it's not very fun to stitch white borders. So we're gonna take it out and change it to like purple or I think you wanted purple. Mm -hmm. Where was the next Yeah, I wonder if there wasn't. So I don't know if you can hear the sirens, but earlier when we said, oh my gosh, that sounded like something. It was pretty loud. It was a loud thing. screech of breaks is what I really know. Yeah, it sounded like somebody into something. So now we're hearing some sirens. Okay. But I'm wondering if there's that. Yeah. Probably and it's right. definitely in the neighborhood. Yeah. I'm gonna tighten this up for your sounding sirens. Can you hear them? They slow them down, I think. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Weird. Just right. Yeah. I put us down by the roundabout. Yeah, you guys need to pick out the window. Yep. Pick out the front. It's in my mouth. Oh. 
Well, if it keeps going for long, we'll pause. Yeah. <laughs> but if it's a, we'll just try to yeah. keep going. Okay. Thanks if it for... stops, then we know sure. it's. Oh, did you guys want to? Well, they can come back later. Yeah. Why don't you tell your sisters to come back in a few minutes and you can share the yeah. stitching okay. guidance. There you go. You guys, did your girl, sisters take their other stuff in? Uh, I that's that goes in the backpack. So yeah. They have been working hard this week. They've been Fab busier than I have been. Give and share, and they've been excited to talk about it. Like, like I said, when it, are you guys fast to me? When are we fast to <laughs> They came in. What day? What day, Mama? They came in yesterday, and I could barely sit down. They were like, I know. I gotta show you, gotta show you, gotta show you. <laughs> I mean, literally, like we ran in the door, they went to the bathroom, and then they came with all their stuff to show Mimi. They've been so. Oh, no, I was in the middle of making something so salad proud. or something. Yeah. So yeah. Proud. Yeah. Well, well, whew. Uh, they're kind of tiring. <laughs> it's kind of hard to manage all of them. It's kind of like hurting cats. Screen, <laughs> like trying to keep the thing going. <laughs> but oh, we yeah. did it. Are you coming back out to show that stuff? No, I'm getting oh, the couch. Thing. Mm -hmm. See, oh, and bumping the table and just going on a ride today. Do you want to share whips? Oh, we just, we have a featured friend. We have a featured friend. And we also have a thing that Millie is dying for me to show you. There you go. One more, One more bracelet. bracelet. Okay. Thank bye bye. You, Millie. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Hadn't seen bye. one of those before. We did see an orange one, but. <laughs> Thing. I, had I that have to say, before. there's a reason why you have children young, because I don't, I could not do that all day long. I well, would it's go. not really like that all day long. <laughs> we don't have like a camera on 24 <laughs> seven. Okay. I am going to be doing it in August when you guys go on your trip. So <laughs> I no, know. they're good. They do entertain themselves. They do mostly entertain themselves. Okay, we I do. have two featured friends this week. One is somebody joining us for our Biscor New Style. So I'll do them first, uh -huh. just because that's the email I have pulled up. So if you're working on a Biscornu as well, along with us and tagging us, we're like, I'm loving, it's loving so fun. seeing all the pictures. It is fun. I'm so slow, partly because mine is like big and has a lot of stitching. And I feel like there are people who are ready to like fully finish. Did you see Kendra has the bottom of that nest done? Yes. So Kendra makes, she's got mm -hmm. an Etsy shop and that's her name, I think on Instagram too. She did that nest and one of the nests. And she's got the whole bottom part done, I think. Gorgeous. Yeah. But this one is by... So this is from Vaughn. She's Vonda Lee K on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And um, she just said she got a tiny start on her Biscornu this morning and wanted to send an email of the chart and fibers. So good. It's Brown Bird Biscornu by Heartspring, Heartstring Samplery. The colors are scrum, just scrumptious. I've had it kitted up for a very long time. So this is the perfect reason to get started. So I'll put the picture right here. in my um wish list on yeah, one two three i know it's a it's a cute one it's a pretty one i was kind of debating between that one and the poppies one because mm -hmm. i love birds thanks yeah. for sending that um and yeah if you're doing it and tagging us we're watching and enjoying yeah. the pictures Send or us tagging the biscornu sal xs hashtag. yeah that's our hashtag biscornu sal xs and yeah we'd love it if you sent us a picture to feature you oh yeah it's so fun thanks Vaughn. So then the other person I was going to feature came in a few weeks ago and I'm doing this, I'm doing twice, one because it's in Sal and one mm -hmm. because this was like a regular one. But um, this is from Heather Miller and I'm going to put the pictures with a um, description, a pattern name mm -hmm. slide right before in a second. And, but I thought I'd just share what she said. So she said, she thought I'd share with you how my Jolly July plans panned out. Firstly, since coming back to cross stitch in April 2020, I haven't participated in any type of themed starts till now. My favorite Christmas and winter charts were piling up and begging to be started. It was a lot of organizing to get designs kitted up, making decisions on fabric floss, mm -hmm. to use stash DMC or convert to Cosmo, rounding up working copies. It really was a ton of fun to use variegated floss, try new designers and share the excitement with my stitchy friends. Each one is destined to be finished differently. Some framed, made into a pillow, ornament style, wall hanging, sewn to the bottom of a tea towel. I'm ready to sit back and relax now and enjoy the journey of stitching them to completion. I started 10 projects in all. Wow. Eight planned and two at the last minute. <laughs> That's a lot. 
and she'll probably have them all done and fully finished in like she will because you're fast heather <laughs> so then she talks about my, my first design was a canada day start because she's in canada and then i had a thomas kincaid from just cross stitch magazine nine uh, december 98 that i really wanted to get to start but just ran out of time and enthusiasm it's a full coverage piece lots of colors I've got the fabric, but decided to convert as many colors as possible to Cosmo floss that had to be ordered. So she, um, and then, so she, then she sent us the lineup and all the pictures. So I'll insert those right here. got more well yeah i had less energy because of the wedding but maybe yeah, next you year probably I'll would do. have done more jolly july i would have it was kind of a crazy year it was but they're that's so stunning cute i love that winter pumpkin the winter yeah that's gonna be so pretty all of them are gorgeous the winter pumpkin and what was the other one that i really liked um, um you liked the boughs, oh, Christmas boughs. Okay, Christmas boughs, Heather. Oh, yeah. I have a feeling that I started to kit that one up last year. And when I was going through uh, the other day when I was doing the common threaded hashtag and it was, you know, show your whips. And I've got like three baskets of different kinds of whips. I found this Ziploc baggie <laughs> and it was buy some other fall stuff for magazine challenge last year. And it's got this darker fabric and it's got um, floss. And I think it was for, the, I, I need to go back now when we're done. She's like, oh, I think I was going to stitch that. <laughs> and I think I kitted it up. I think I Maybe did. that's what that stuff was And for. I was so bad because I put it all in a Ziploc bag, but didn't put a tag in it for what it was for. I'm thinking, oh, surely oh, yeah. I'll remember because I sure. don't have that many new starts that I would forget what one would be. Oh gosh. So now, and I love it. I love that piece. It's yeah. just so different and rustic. And I, I decorate with lots of boughs in my house, cedar boughs, mm -hmm. but not pine, but cedar. And I just love that. It's very Christmassy in winter. Yeah. I actually leave some of those boughs up in the, in January too. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, so thank you so yeah. much, Heather, for sharing that. All those gorgeous branches. Yes. 
really fun to get that email and look at all those. I know. And you can find her on Instagram at HPX Stitch mm-hmm. is her handle on Instagram. And mm-hmm. she kind of did daily updates of what she was yeah. working on. So you can go started. back. So you can go back and see mm-hmm. and maybe Up even close. follow links to things that yeah. she did. So go follow Heather. Yeah. and thank you Very eclectic this. too. Lots of different styles in that. Yeah. 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 Thank you so, so much. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, do you want to do whips and yeah. do life stuff later? Yeah, whips yeah. now. Life stuff later. You want to go for who went first last week? I don't know. I think I did because I didn't have that many. You want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. Okay. I don't care. I'm just going to grab as I go. So I'm still really trying to finish square two of my lock friend hollow. Short there. Time. Okay. Last week when you showed it, I really couldn't tell so that you'd hard. done anything. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't. I'm not mocking you. I'm I had saying. finished all this red. <laughs> oh, is that what you did? Okay. I probably yeah. was distracted. There was a lot going on last week. I'll tell week. you this week what I did. Oops. My threads came out too. I looked, I went back and watched our video last week and I was extremely distracted. I had th- phone stuff coming in. I had oh. kids that were in and out and I just feel like I wasn't totally oh, present. I didn't so. really, I mean, I go back and watch a little while. Well, I feel bad. So my apologies, you guys. This week will be better. I mean, we were kind of distracted with the girls. Now it's better. Okay. Yeah. Look, I really did make progress. You did. This week I filled in that whole yellow fish. Which is a lot of stitching. I mean, it that's a lot. lot of I know, and I'm not. I know what <laughs> these hawk runs. Fun of me. I know what these hawk runs are. When was the last time you made any visible progress on a hawk run? <laughs> well, when I ripped it out and when I got new fabric and started and stitch. <laughs> All right, so here's what I have left. He needs eyes. They need eyes. Are they these, French knots. These little light blue spots are just need some. No, they're black. Oh. Little black stitches. And so. See up here, this one, these ones are finished. They're all filled in with like the mm. other color blue. This one mm-hmm. has another color blue to fill in. So eyes, fill in, fill in eye, fill in eye. And a light blue border that I started, you can kind of see it at the top. It goes along the inside of the Oh, the inside. Board. Oh, yeah. But another otherwise, border. I'm so close to, I really am close now. It's really cute in person, you guys. It it's is. so tiny. It's so little. I'm really sorry that it's I so didn't do, keep mine going, but. Yeah. But it it's has to be, be nice to stitch. Man, more sirens. I know. There must have been. We never mo- had this happen when we. And it's all right here. So yeah. something happened. I hope they didn't hit a person or something. Oof. I know. Because I didn't really hear like metal on metal. I don't want to. I, don't I know. know. It's just a lot of sirens it. for like a fender bender, if you ask me. But sometimes I have to say, we live pretty close to a fire station. Yeah. And sometimes it's like overkill when you call 911. They're like, everybody comes. So yeah. That is, it's very, very cute. Yeah. So I'm still And then if you look at how tiny that is, it's like smaller than a hand. Yeah. I mean, what is the square? Probably three oh inches gosh. total with all that stitching in Speaking it. of Hawk Run Hollow, have you been wa- watching Seasook Stitch, Carolyn? I haven't watched her <gasps> latest one. So her spring, spring is almost done. She's got like two. Sp- <laughs> That's the one I want to start next year. It's, oh, I love it. I love seeing hers yeah. makes me love it more than the picture. picture. Oh, yes. Yes. I think that'll be yes. my next one if I ever finish my other two. That's my next one. I think I'll do yeah. that one. Well, my goal was when I would finish yeah. a Whipco, you know, bingo, I would start gathering, but I haven't had a bingo. So I haven't had I anything know. to reward myself for. I know. I just but I want to my- start gathering. I rewarded myself anyway last week. <laughs> Didn't I, Christina from Petals and Pins? Did you just make an order? I just ordered a, the other day. I ordered a project bag. <laughs> Should be here Monday. Oh, <laughs> her project bags are so. And she cute. doesn't always have a ton in her shop. So when I see one, man, I grab it. You grab it. Mm-hmm. I do like her style a lot. I know she is. Um, I like all. Well, I mean, I like them all, but she follows us. I'd like to be able to order from her. I know. And if you are following us and I you are to. a project bag maker, let us know because I don't really have a list of project bag makers, and my reward for for Whipco is project bags. So you could share. Yeah, them out with yeah. So let us know. We can even put you in our drop down. Yeah, we we're happy to you. link. Yeah, to people and yeah support small businesses. I'd rather yeah I'd rather support somebody that you know has an interest in us too so anyway you're selfish sometimes yeah <laughs> oh no, that's not selfish no. we'll only buy from you if you like our videos <laughs> no it's a given if you don't watch our videos you're not gonna know <laughs> no I just so wanna, don't bother don't bother <laughs> so I worked on this this one from Alicia okay Paulson. <laughs> Do I need to rephrase all of that no it's fine people know what I'm just, oh my word. I'm just in a mood today. Uh, <laughs> I'm in a mood of my husband. So <laughs> we're just bearing the brunt. 
great <laughs> Jesse thing. It's like my teen years all over again. Boy drama. I take it out on mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I worked on this this week. Did you see her post a picture on her Instagram oh, of the fall the... one? Okay. So, so cute. Alicia Paulson, that's her name. You can find her on Instagram if you, you know, haven't already followed her from us. She just posted a link, a picture of her, <sighs> like the beginning of her fall. She's still tweaking it. She was asking for a few like things of feedback. But it's really cute. So it's this is cute. her spring one in this same series. And I, oh, I stitched the snail this week. <laughs> it's made oh. me really happy. Oh, it's cute snail. pulling up there. Yes. The fall one has a big long thing in it a too. Toadstool. It's the, like a big red mushroom with the red. Did the strawberry one that I just gave you? Yeah, I have it out have here. Yes, okay. it does. I can't remember. I was gonna show it in yeah. kind of haul. Yeah. So this is her spring version of so this. Cute design and then she's got a summer one out already and then a fall one coming out with the same kind of like in the same series so you can just pop them in and out of the same mm -hmm. frame which and I'm gonna do that it. I'm gonna do I, that with these I'm just gonna do frame one frame me too and that's what I've done with the mm -hmm. other ones too so I worked on that okay next week next week I'm gonna have fully finishes yes. I bought those frames at Hobby Lobby like yes. six months ago because I was gonna fully finish and you have frames and you just haven't stuck them in have you looked at my crock closet no I'm going to miss some frames. You're not even going to know they're missing. I would too. Oh. <laughs> I worked on my Snow Queen a little because it's one of my Wicko goals from sometime this year. Maybe this month. Is we, we, don't, we just kind of do. I'm not even sure which goal it is. Sadly, I had to rip out. So you Again? Can't, or no, before? this was the only time. Oh. So I, I pulled out stitches down here. I had like a little row oh. and realized I had doubled so what i really need to, I, I say this every time i pull this out i really need to copy that pattern yep. so i can mark off what i've done then i went up here and i worked on that white it's actually not white it's a light blue it's one of the mm -hmm. um what are those what, did you see somebody that did theirs on this fabric um yes you you picked fabrics. something similar okay. a dark fabric like yeah. this and i loved it so much yeah so you can't really tell what's going on here. It's just a bunch of stitches, but this is her snow queen. My really arm yeah. is coming down here. Yeah. So I started in the middle and I'm working around. This. Okay. So, I mean, it doesn't look like done. much. <laughs> I'm getting close. <laughs> and I, I put it in a real project bag so it would stop falling out. Oh, and that's a nice big bag too. I know, this bag is the perfect size. I was mm -hmm. like, Jesse, look, it all fits. And he was like, mm, yeah. This right was there. from, um, gosh, I'm forgetting. Her name right now, but somebody on Facebook like randomly commented to me that she wanted to send me a project bag. Yes, from the Whipco. From the from Whipco, Whipco board. board. Super sweet. Because I think I was just saying, well, I can't really afford to do a whip uh, project bag for all my Whipco goals. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna do um, gather materials for my spring of Hakan Hall. Uh -huh. I had just posted that right. that was my plan. So other people would know, yeah, there's like yeah. other alternatives. Because people were posting other like, things. I make these, but I don't sell them or anything, but I'd love to just make one and send it. And I was like, she make this for you too? And this went with it. And so it's like perfect for storing my like nicer flosses so they don't like get crunch the yeah. whisper flosses in there. Oh yeah. And I was like, look, Jesse, and he didn't care. But you care. I care. I knew I you would notice. I it's like the perfect bag. I wish is. she sold them so I could refer people to her bag. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Can't tell you where I got it, but it's lovely. Oops. Okay, a couple more. I did touch a lot of things this week. Mm -hmm. I worked on, I tried to get some more trees in. I kind of forgot to keep working on the trees. because I kind of cheated yesterday. So I quick threw in a few extra I'm going to do a bunch of trees because I, I forgot. I was like, oh, I was supposed to do like five or six trees this week and I forgot because I was working so hard on my Biscornu, but I did get some oh, in. Oh, you're coming along on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got some in. Yeah. This is Cranberry and Pines from Rosewood Manor, and I'm making this for Jesse. Oh, I can't. You know, I have that. Um, Gosh, you I got me Rosewood Manor's Autumn Quakers. I know, I love that. I, I really, that. I, yes, I've got it all kitted up. Didn't I get you the flosses for that? Yeah, and I have fabric for it. It's all in together. Because I, I, I stitch that. Just send it home with me. I'll no, no, I just need to. Oh, man, those flosses. I just need to finish good. something. What are the flosses that it uses? Valdani. Valdani. Oh, they're but so you cool. know what? I found out that I'm totally messed up on my sunflower fairy, which is no. using Valdani's because no. I'm using two strands. It's supposed to be one strand. So it's thicker. I mean, it's okay. Can you just go down to one? Well, I don't, point? I'm too far uh, along. Maybe yeah. when I get to the girl, I'm doing all, well, you'll, I'm showing it you'll today. Show. 
Okay. But maybe I'll just keep going on it with two. It'll but be fine. now I know at least I found out before I started on paper because it's a bigger project. Because you should. Mm -hmm. Um, I worked on Twilight Angel from the gold collection. Mm -hmm. from the gold collection petites. And I mean, this one I don't know if you'll be able to. I can see the progress because I'm filling in more of her skirt here. Oh yeah. So I put in more more colors there. Oh, and I did add some stitches over here because I thought I'd start working down a little more. Let's see. The color is, oh, sorry. Yeah. Color is kind of like. It's totally different color. colors than it's. Is it half stitches? Yeah, there's some half stitches in there. Wow. And that's accurate because I love the picture. Wow. Let's see, there's some half stitches. Mm -hmm. in there. I, don't know if you can see it. I wonder why they did that though. I don't know. Maybe to just make it look more like. Maybe. This is going to be pretty. And she gets down to the scallopy area. The blue. Uh huh. The ruffle. The ruffle. Yeah. And the dresses. I know. Yeah. I really like this one. I still do. Mm -hmm. I haven't made any cute. mistakes either, so that makes me like it even more. Even more. And okay, a couple more. Another whip go thing that I'm trying to kind of finish up is my Barbara Bergeau Richards. Um, oh. What's it called? I forget. I don't know. Friends. Oh, it is just called Friends. Mm -hmm. I was going to call it. Uh, but oh, I changed all the colors. I need to, I need to mail that chart to Heather. Yeah, I changed the colors all around because I did. Oh, really you've made a lot of progress. So I did. I did a lot. I did all that green up there this week. I made a mistake somewhere down here, and I'm just I went up and over so that I can stitch down and correct the mistake as I go, mm -hmm. rather than try and like make the borders meet and stuff. Baby Junior won't sleep today. She's being a stinker. She is being a stinker. I don't know if they can hear it. No, are we bugging her? No, they, we're not bugging her. She's not here. So if oh, you hear baby, if you hear baby crying, it's baby Junie in the trailer right over there. <laughs> yeah, she's being a little no napper. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is my Biscornu. Ah, this is what I probably made the most progress on. Yeah. I really did focus on this a lot. It's big. It's, it it's is big. big. Mm -hmm. And mine's actually going to be size wise even larger because I went down a stitch fabric size. Fabric size, stitch count, mm -hmm. stitch. Yeah. Oh, I love it on this gold though. It was worth it. Mm -hmm. So I think instead of like five and a half inches, it's going to be about six and a half inches. Okay. Square. But that's a okay. whole inch difference. Um, not quite. It's probably like yeah, six eighths of an so inch. So pretty. Yeah, I wish the color was kind Very. of coming through more there. That's mm -hmm. that's pretty good. Pretty good. The purple is a little more purpley, I think, in person. Purple yeah. never shows up on camera. Purple right? is terrible. I never can photograph weird? purple yarn, okay, purple that's floss. Probably about it. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's a little more vibrant. I think in person. Anyways, I love it. So this is one corner of the top. And then the bottom is kind of just some small poppy buds and a border. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess there's kind of some poppies, it looks like here too, or partial poppies. Partial maybe. poppies. So it's, there's just a lot of stitching on it, but it is, oh my gosh, I love it on this fabric. Yeah. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it, but it's going to take me a lot longer to finish. Then maybe if I had done a yeah. smaller one. That is all my whips this week. That was quite a bit. That was quite a bit. Well, okay. Whew. So because I was such a failure at my whip go, well, here, let me. Um, my voice seems better, doesn't it? This yeah, week? it does sound better. I feel like it sounds better and it feels better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. I did finally get a push going. So last week, mm -hmm. I or a couple of weeks ago, I had shared that I'd finished one of my June whip goes, which was my hoity-toity goal. Uh, my goal for each piece uh, that's called is six hours. I used to be eight, but I realized that was just not going to happen. Yeah, it's too much with mm -hmm. with magazine. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I was also due in June to take out Sunflower Fairy by Nora Corbett. And I'm working all up here. Are you going to run out of class if you ended up? I hope not. I'm over on this end now. I've worked all oh, wow. this. And I will show you. Oh, wow. I can see it through the back. Mm -hmm. So I did. <laughs> wow. I worked another two and a half hours. I've done basically all of this. Wow. And it's just different than what I thought it was. It's more jewel toned than my printed copy. So I, yeah. it's taken me a while to get used to that, but I do like it. I and I it. made a major, not a major, it's like a one stitch 
off up here in this green. Mm -hmm. And so that's made some of this off, but I'm, I'm worked as much as I can. I'm going to bring, if you see that vine comes down, I'm going to do that vine coming down oh, the before I do any down. more of these petals. So then you're sure to have them. Yeah, because I want that, I want this all to be right. Mm -hmm. And I made a mistake up in here. Okay. So I'm going to fudge around in here after I, it's pretty much fudged in. I just didn't want to nice do. The nice thing is it's not like full coverage. So you right. off like a right. stitch once you get to the fairy. If you just yes. Make... I'm going to be able to, um, yeah. And I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm right up here. So if I start the fairy yeah. down here, but it wasn't, it was just like one, it's just like one stitch. I think I did too many, but then it pushed everything over, but I didn't want it to make this mm -hmm. branch is going to come down or vine come down mm -hmm. be wrong mm -hmm. because there's stuff coming, meeting up with that branch. So anyway, uh, it wasn't too bad no, and with something this big fix. this huge mm -hmm. of a project I figure when yeah. you mistake here or there yeah have much of an issue right and this this Valdani is extremely variegated like there's places like 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 mm -hmm. this orange and this yellow I think are well no maybe not there but let's see um let's see this like yellow. some of these ones that look distinct yeah like some the of the yellow thread. and some of the oranges wow. are the same thread wow because it's just so variegated oh, like, and it's uh, small chunks what would it be? like here yeah yeah it's definitely between the yellow and the oranges huh. so that kind of throws me off pretty. when i'm looking at this because i'm looking at a colored which which color did you yeah because i'm looking at a colored no, i'm not looking at yeah i'm looking at a colored graph uh, and then I'm looking at the color that I'm working with. And so, mm -hmm. but anyway, so she got, I'm not done with her yet. This, this is June. And I think I have, they're beads. Oh, they're beads. Yes. Oh, those are. Yep. Don't they look like French knots? They, I make sense that they would be beads because it's the beads. Oh. Mm -hmm. I wonder um, if the sample person stitched. She might have done it, but there's other. Maybe they're beads. Sometimes. Yeah. There's three color beads in this one. I haven't done beads uh, in years. Really tell unless you're looking at it. Yeah. Um, huh. But she. So yeah. Cute. Yeah. Really pretty. I was going to go back. Tina Stitches, who follows us and has her own cross tube, did a, her own color conversion of this, which is how I found this pattern in the first place. And I was going to go back and look at hers. She. Um, hmm did not like the blue wings but i oh, think yeah. the blue wings did are going to just be... leave the wings off or did she no. switch them to a different color she was talking about leaving them off but i think she did them a different color she did okay. do them a different color but the blue wings i think will look pretty on my blue fabric oh she was being a little toot she is so that is i've got one? three hours and i've got three more hours to do on her or two and a half hours left we oh, need to take so a break good. and do this should we let them? Yeah, let's do this. So we got a surprise package from somebody who watches us. Sandy, thank you. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about what she sent and a little bit yeah. for the girls or Ancy to share what she sent for them each. So she yeah. handmade these adorable little needle pouches. Here, I'll slide again. Watch out. I know, I just don't want to drag it because it's a yucky sound. Mm -hmm. So, so. We've got a double-sided pouch with an adorable you guys can all squeeze zipper. Oh, everyone got a different fabric. And so it's no, she's already using hers. Oh, yeah, she's so. already using hers. And then it opens up to like a floss. What do you call those again? Floss. Like, I don't know. Floss keep or or I. Your it's felt, so you know your floss sticks to it. So either yeah. you can leave your. Um, and then sports or your um, flosses you're working with a needle a little needle spot yep okay Rosie you, you want to come back? in here and show us yours and they all are individualized with their own little okay. charm okay little charms Millie's okay 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 come on, and Rosie. Rosie come show yours okay. and then come back. okay 
hers is Mickey and Don baby Mickey and baby Minnie Donald. and baby Donald. Oh Aren't they cute? <laughs> I love that. And her I was thinking of you as my Minnie Mouse girl. I think she, of you had Minnie Mouse jammies for a long She's time. got a little sheep and a little flower charm. Little, like yellow flower charm, little anyway, so cute. Open it up. Yeah, open Thank it up. You a lot. Yeah. Thank you a lot. We love they them. love oh, them. Using hers. So you can show how you, your floss sticks to them. So your floss is like, flying all over the house. That's so nice because I am constantly picking up floss off the floor thinking, what whose girl? project was this? Because it's not mine. <laughs> it could be mine, but that's one's not mine. So and so, so, so nicely done. And oh, oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I don't even know, their day. I don't know how you put those zippers in. I certainly cannot do a zipper. Oh yeah. Oh, she's got her floss in there for her project. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, really yeah. a sweet surprise in the mail. We'll, we'll show what else was in the package. Yeah. That was part of the excitement when they walked in the door yesterday. Yes. They wanted I had to show saved me. that package to open it together with yeah. my mom. Yeah. Oh, I had kind of peeked in, so I knew what uh-huh and then i realized there was something for each girl in there and so i thought oh, we'll just save it and open it all together yeah so it was fun so they were excited about that fun. so okay so the sunflower fairy got a big chunk of time and then the other thing i worked quite a bit on was my biscornu and again i don't know why i didn't stitch on more stuff it was just maybe um, you're reverting back to a more monotonous stitch. maybe i just kind of i was like just went the other way i was kind of grabbing whatever Felt good. It felt good or was right on top of my basket. So I'm doing my sunshine, sunshine X stitch. Her Gerbera, Gerbera, Gerbera Daisy, the score new. And I showed it last week that I was going to be doing it on a white fabric, but my white fabric was a 22 count mm -hmm. and I didn't like the way that size was going to be. So I picked, I ended up getting this did i stick the fabric sticker on here oh i had it stuck on somewhere here. it's a picture this plus i think dapple dapple what, uh -huh. what count did you get 32 count oh a much different size than your 22. i know i thought for sure i stuck the sticker oh here it is oh, oh it's a 28 it. count sorry 28 count fat eight dapple okay. picture this plus and so this is how far i've gotten wow. so i basically have two more of these to do one there and yeah. one there and then a back stitch border and then there's a bunch of eyelets in blue and I, I don't know what the bottom really looks like oh you well you showed me a picture of something mm -hmm. the bottom looked like it had quite a bit of oh the bottom it. is yes the bottom is a bunch of these but whereas this is one two three four five all in kind of in order they're more scattered around oh that's right and so it's i've got just two more and these go pretty fast they're just three colors once i get the outline done the darker color all the way around and then i've got a bunch of these little mm -hmm. these are blue eyelets all around oh yeah and i had to pick a different blue because the blue that she called for was too close to this fabric that teal in her original is cute, but yeah. And I picked that. something. It was a nine twenty seven. Oh yeah. And I think I I bought two different ones that were darker. Yeah, kind of too young. Nine twenty six. I'm probably going to go with that darker one. Darker. Yeah. To do the little mm -hmm. eyelets that are scattered all around. Cute. But it's got a pretty full bottom. I mean, there's like. I think there's five more daisies on the bottom they're just not as an orderly yeah um but not as much stitching as yours so. yeah I mean, but my I, bottom doesn't have to yeah much. well it probably has to be. yeah and i still want to get my other biscorner done and the other biscorner that i was started i saw somebody yeah. Yeah. finished it online and i thought oh it's to be t-o-b stitch to be stitch i think is for instagram and she has it all fully finished and everything Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that I really worked on was my Joyful World cell because I've been so behind on that and I finished it. I finished July at about 1.30 in the morning this morning. Oh, you finished it mm -hmm. after I went to bed? Yes. 
Oh, you were determined. I was determined. Gosh, it's so cute. So it really there, looks good on that blue fabric, those I yellows. Know, and I know. There's July. Wow. So August is a dog, and I'm going to start August tonight. Mm. I just need to count over and do your coming along. Yes, is. September is so cute. September is the owl. Mm -hmm. And then there's the hedgehogs. I know. I think the last few are my favorite ones. November's the peacock. I'm not that wild about. It. Oh, I got it's peacock. So pretty though. It's gonna be nice on this fabric. It too. is it's pretty, but out. I got peacocks on my. Oh yeah, you stitch peacocks on your hawk run. Needle. Hmm? Plus my needle. I think I might see it. Hmm? Hmm. Story of my life. Well, I don't know. Okay. No, we'll look for it later. It might be in my lap. That is maybe it. I'll get it later. Okay. Anyway. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Bless you. Oh, Bless you. Thank you. Hopefully we don't have another cold floating around. I've had a few family members have colds, which is unusual after the last 18 months. Okay. No one's been sick. Basically. So those were the three things that I really worked on. Cute. And I've got, yeah. Um, I did knit though. So I finished, you know, the sweater. Yeah for Junie, but I decided she needed a bonnet. Oh, you found a pattern. I did find a pattern. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a good picture of it. Because I had leftover, oh, enough leftover yarn. Hold on, Olivia's bonnet. It's gonna be so cute on that. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And I don't have very far. I mean, I- by Little Woolen Babe. Yeah, I started this in the car because we met Sarah and her family and most of our family, except for baby Junie's family, because there was an issue. So anyway, they couldn't join us. There was an issue. <laughs> that didn't sound right. There was no bad was issue. issue. I just didn't want to share issue. private information. It wasn't bad, just they couldn't come. <laughs> and she watches us. So I'm just gonna say mama heard her back. So there you go. Sorry, Cassidy, if you didn't want the world to know about that. I mean, it might be better than just having it be. There was an issue. <laughs> Love you, Cassidy. Hi. Um, anyway, it's got a Pico. If you see this. Up. Please, it's got a little Pico. We locked them in the trailer and wouldn't let them go. It's got little Picos on that cast on edge. Oh, so this Pico cast on in the car, in the back seat of a car, kind of tough. was really challenging for me, but I did it. You did it. Mm -hmm. so, and it's in the same yarn that Aww. I did her little, her little fold come around. It's a little bit stretchy. She's got a little head. Little, so. she's, she's a tiny little thing. I messed mm -hmm. this again. So I did work on that, and I, it won't take long, I don't think. <laughs> take a little bit of your mouth with your tongue. Does not work for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, ever since my surgery, I'm burping. <laughs> when I burp, it like comes out. <laughs> like, you know, sometimes you burp and you exhale. Well, I've been burping with an inhale and my voice turns on. <laughs> How are not hurt this shit? It's like, Jesse goes, are you all right? I was like, yeah, that was just my new burp. <laughs> He's like, oh, I thought you were hiccuping. I mean, it's like. <gasps> <laughs> so the other day I started, I realized, well, that was a normal burp. I did a normal burp. Jesse, did you hear it? That was a normal sounding burp. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Uh, burp. <laughs> Anyways. So weird stuff when you have throat surgery. Oh, golly. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> so baby Junie's going to get a little bonnet to go along so with her cute. little sweater. And I did find, this is part of my haul, but I'll just show it. I cannot. I am. I might have to have you look really quick before we leave at my baby sweater because I'm stuck. That pattern that so normally I've stitched things mm -hmm. by Tiki Knits mm -hmm. many times, many times. Yeah, her pattern is great. This I think was one of her earlier patterns or something, and it is not quite as easy to follow. Oh. There's a couple things I'm just like, read the directions on this over and over, and it's not making sense. Oh, this is the ribbon that I put. I bought finally. I've ordered like three different kinds on four different kinds on like etsy that did not work for me and i went to hobby lobby and found one for like really cute. and it's stretchy so it's going to go on the inside of the button band i've yeah, never like done that and i've always wanted to finish off a button band 
on the inside so on then the inside. it flaps open you'll just yeah. have a really pretty little ribbon and because it'll cover up any kind of eyelet for a buttonhole and I thought you know they don't want to send them buttons but sometimes baby sweaters fall off their shoulders I'm just going to put a little tiny silver snap at the top it's so so pretty mm -hmm. so she'll have a little dainty yeah dainty she's a tiny little dainty thing so it's perfect for her okay Sweet that's is my knitting and my whips do you have any haul is that what we do next Every, every week I'm like, what do we do? Um, I do, I do, not really, but kind of. So I had bought this pattern a couple weeks ago at Threadneedle oh. Street, yeah. and I thought maybe I was going to start it the other night, but I didn't have time. But I did go buy fabric, and I'm not going with the natural neutral. I'm going with that color. And then I bought the flosses. I know, it is so cute. I don't know what it is about these pinky. Mm -hmm. um, they just remind me of my childhood because mm -hmm. pinky was, pink was really a popular Christmas color in the 70s mm -hmm. and 60s. 60s. Mm -hmm. It just seems really retro to me. So I did mm -hmm. buy that and I bought another skein of yarn because I'm going to do a little pullover sweater for Junie for Christmas. So Hobby Lobby has this lovely super wash <laughs> yarn. It's got yeah, a little it's gray. Kind of like a blush color with yeah. a little bit of purpley gray. Just a little bit. Yeah, and a little bit of orangey color. And I think that's about it. Oh no, I did buy because my Hobby Lobby also has oh, yeah. colored. Uh, colored yeah. They have a rust ways. color too, but I didn't get the rust color. So this is what I'm doing my poppies on. Yeah. And I didn't buy that, but I thought about doing it. And then this was a total impulse buy, but look at this adorable little bag. <laughs> that is cute. And then, oh, my other haul was Millie made me a needle book. Uh oh, here it is. They came and she made me a little needle book too. And so there it is. It's got, She's got a little pocket too. They're very big into pockets, I notice. Oh yeah, it's very. We love pockets, pockets. and things you can tuck things into. Yeah, pockets are life. So anyway, sweet little oh, wait, needle book. Oh, okay, get away, get away, get away. Sweet little needle book from my little, my little Millie. Yeah, that's my haul. Oh, I did get another haul. So I was thinking about my plan, well, kind of future plans, but I bought this. Although it came wrinkled and I'm not very happy about oh. that. So Carolyn Zook has talked about how she organizes her cross stitch and she just buys a daily, this planner. This is the same company of the one she's using mm -hmm. this year, but this is like a 22, 23 planner. It's like seven or $8 on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I've been using this planner, which I like, it doesn't have like a lot of writing room. It doesn't have a lot of writing room. And I have to fold like my, um, like my Whipco. Uh, Everything's taped in here it. and folded. And same as my magazine monthly. They're all kind of stuck in here loosely. Whereas this is more of a full size and it's got um, more places for notes. Cause I do wanna, I, I liked it earlier this year when I was writing down every night what I worked yeah, I on doing that. and track the time just because it's kind of interesting to know, but it, the month pages are my pretty good size. Mm -hmm. And then I love this brand, this Katie Daisy. So I will buy one of these for my personal planner, but I love those it, too. Um, it's a, I, they have a smaller spiral bound. So that was also Hall, it was also Hall, I was buying that little planner. What? A little stinker baby out there. Just a... I have some, I don't know if it's Hall technically because you bought it and gave it to me, but this is the summer. <laughs> That's right, it's got the flower. The summer Alicia Paulson strawberry season that kind of matches my spring one, but it has a little fox, I think. Is that what it is? Fox and a little bee skip. It's cute. Strawberries. And the ladybug and the crawling up the daisy and the butterfly. Oh, cute. And the little bees. <laughs> excuse me so that's i mean technically you gave that to me a while ago but i hadn't my printer's not working very well yeah and then i'm paying you back but i'll call this my haul <laughs> paying you back before i leave <laughs> so i had bought for myself this pattern a while ago this alpaca farm drum cute. by the blue flower that's what the design looks like stitched up and i love i love it so are you going to do the drum or going to do it in a long skinny I piece i think i'm going to do the drum mm -hmm. although it would be really cute in a long skinny frame but i think i might try the drum or the drum so i had bought i couldn't find all the colors like i really wanted to do several of the week's dye works but i couldn't find the ones i wanted on um one two three stitch and i just like kind of set it aside and didn't worry about it so when i found out you were going to the 
thread needle street yesterday i asked if you would look for a couple mm -hmm. of them and i figured if she even got a couple that i could use the dmc substitutes so this is the fabric i got it on it's not the same as the called for fabric but it's pretty close mm -hmm. and then so you had found she had all the ones she that had you all needed the ones i was kind of interested in trying to find um oh it's gonna be so pretty I know. oh so here, so let me pretty. Line up these. some of them are most of them are weeks dye works there's one that's a color works, I think. Mm -hmm. And then I will use a DMC that I just had in my stash that I didn't, it's like the skin I didn't feel like really needed to be variegated. Um, or maybe it's a flower color or something. So here's my pretty. cute colors on that blue. Could be so pretty. So now I have everything I need so I can start that this week. That's everything then that I have as well. We have that stitchy kindness, so we do have okay. So kindness. we will continue the story about Sandy. So Sandy sent us these adorable things, and she said that she couldn't make these to give away, but not to sell because of the pattern, you know, request of the designer. So she stitched those little things for the girls, and then <laughs> oh my gosh, we guys just started like cracking up. These are Biscornu pouches. The score new pouches, like, you guys. So and you can get the pattern. She gave us the yeah. website. I will link it down below because oh, I have it right here. Yeah, look at that. You can buy these little pouches um, on Starlight Stitching Co., which I've never even heard of that or gone there. So, so you can buy the finished ones, but you can you also, can buy also the purchase the pattern. The pattern. And I think she's talking about these. It's like geometry, you guys, which oh. I barely passed. Well, so I am so impressed, so Sandy. Cute. These are They're like so nice. And it's perfect during our Discord mm -hmm. cell. We were like really blown away. And these fabrics, they're so I know summery in August to me. I know, really pretty. So pretty. Thank I you. I love so that they're much. like matching, but a little different. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank and you. then she also sent us some of these, like that she made for the girls. Oh and um, Look at this sent one for Aunt, Aunt Nancy, too. So Aunt we Nancy. haven't Aunt opened yours, Aunt Nancy, but I guess you're getting a sneak peek of yeah. what's coming in the mail to you. I, I imagine it looks the same as ours, but Probably. I don't know for sure. But we we're, sending it to, we're sending it on to Aunt, Aunt Nancy. <gasps> Cute little charms, oh, amazing you. zipper. <laughs> Again, I'm fascinated by zippers. And it's got like a okay. little pocket. And then another pocket inside. So there's like two little pockets. Yeah. I love it. We're into pockets too, apparently. Apparently. Ooh, look, a pocket and a pocket. And I don't <laughs> I don't pocket. think I don't think this is Aunt Gracie repo reproduction no, but fabric, but it has that look. same look and I I really do love it. It's so cute. Thank you so much. Thank you. What a gift. I mean we would yeah never have expected but that yeah. Been. And I'd never seen these little discord new bags. I know. It makes me, I feel like I need to start sewing so I can send things to people I know. that I love too. And see if you fold it in half, it's just like a little half like, with little weird little oh, yeah. things. Is that what our things look like? What I, think? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. So they're like, yeah. Really anyway, cool. and sweet note. And I, you know, she said, you know, thank you for all. What did she say? You give, you give. Oh, yeah. Sorry. But, but you know what? We, you guys make this fun. This wouldn't be. So much. I'm like, I feel like I don't give anything. This is just my happy place. I know. <laughs> I mean, and it, in your we comments are. and joining along with ourselves and doing the Zooms. I mean, that's what makes it fun because mm -hmm. I, I mean, I have her as a stitchy friend, but I don't have any other stitchy friends in real life. I mean, yeah. real life. That's what I always tell my kids. Are you gaming? Are you making friends with online gamers? Don't you have any real life friends? <laughs> Let me tell you, that gets thrown in my face a I lot say, now. I bet they're like <laughs> a loving lot. that you have online stitching friends now. <laughs> but I mean, it just is so fun to be able to have that connection. So I just want you guys to know that too. That yeah. Really? We, um, Makes get a lot of so joy better mm -hmm. get a lot of joy out of doing it so i don't think our husbands understand either no why probably not they don't have the same Weird. things i don't know they're guys they're guys they're guys so that's our stitchy kindness in, and in light of like in the same vein so next week just a reminder we're doing mm -hmm. a zoom chat which mm -hmm. i'm really excited about yeah so if you want to come send us an email we're doing it next saturday august 14th 14th and I'm pretty sure it's at 1 30. 
I didn't go back to rewatch the video and I forgot to write it down. So I will go rewatch the video. And if you're interested in coming, send us an email, stitchandstuffxs at gmail.com. It's in the description box below. Mm -hmm. And just even in the title, just put Zoom, Zoom link or something like that. So I know to make sure to send you a Zoom meetup link yeah. for next Saturday. I will send it out Thursday, Friday. I usually kind of get to it around the end of the week because sometimes I'm still getting emails through the middle of the week. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of waiting to make sure that everybody who emails gets it. And I will have for sure the correct time in there, but I'm pretty sure it's 1.30. So yeah. if, a, if the email says a different time, then that's the correct time. Mm -hmm. Cause I didn't have time to go back. It was either going to, it was either going to be one or one thirty Cause we felt like anything after one thirty was, was going to be, be too late, late for Eastern time and yeah. um, so we didn't Canada, to Canada that Eastern time too. I don't know. What but I have a baby shower to go to. So we couldn't do it too much earlier mm -hmm. than that. Cause I need to go to that baby but shower. It's either one or one thirty, but you'll know. Cause the zoom Look in your email, we mm -hmm. would love to have you join us. Yeah. If you haven't done that before, it's very low structure and low key. It's like we're getting together at a coffee shop and everybody just shows up and we kind of go through and try to make sure everybody has a chance to sh show and tell something that they're mm -hmm. stitching about. So bring a finish to show or just show what you're working on. And we all kind of have our little stitching and just visit as people we stitch along and go. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. It's one of like my favorite things that we do yeah. in life. Yeah. And it's not a ton of people. I wish we all lived close enough to actually go out I to know. like a coffee shop. I mean, it's not like we're with a hundred people. There's never a yeah. hundred people. I mean, it's usually like 10 or 12. Yeah. So it's a nice, it's a nice amount. And we get to put faces to names mm -hmm. and, and get to know each other. So I that's know. happening. What's going on in other parts of the Mm -hmm. country and world it's, um, i love it it's fun so we hope that you're interested in joining us mm -hmm. so send us an email stitch and stuff access at gmail.com we had a giveaway last week so i'll i'll do a giveaway now <laughs> we're getting pictures from sam who moved okay the giveaway give us oh. a giveaway okay so last week we were giving away august's poppies from cottage garden sampling which i stitched oh gosh i gotta fully finish this this is what I got to finally finish this week. Yeah, because that was for I your summer. I kind of love that they just have the edges frayed, but I don't know how, what to do after that. Like, isn't that kind of pretty? Just well, usually in what do you when do? sewing, you usually sew a running stitch so that uh -huh. it doesn't keep fraying. And then you just leave it like that. And then you just leave finish? it like that. Yeah. But then it's just flat somewhere. Well, I don't know. I have to think about how I want to finish it. A pillow would be really cute on this too. Yeah. Um. So. We had said to use the word August in your comment last week. Mm -hmm. So then we did a random comment uh, generator and Susan Dubay, you won this. So email us at stitchandstuffxs at gmail.com and let us know your mailing address so I can send that out to you this week. <laughs> well, yeah. in an ideal world, I'd send it out this week, <laughs> but we all know that it could be another year. Before. No, just kidding. <laughs> I, I'm I all am, caught up, I'm not but it took up. me a really long time to get caught But up. the two that I have are going to the same person. Oh, but I never did look for Aunt Nancy's. Mm, sorry, Aunt Nancy. Aunt Nancy. I know you love me anyway, <laughs> but I'm, we're going to send you a pouch, so. Or something <laughs> from Sandy. <laughs> from Sandy. Probably a pouch. Um, well, are we going to talk about this one or just let it go another let week? Let it go another okay. week. So we have a giveaway for this week, but we didn't think of a word. Oh. Write the word down. Ow. Love it. Okay. I picked up when I went to the store. I picked up the new Prairie Schooler Santa for 2021. And he is cute. And oh my gosh, look at the raccoon. I know. Probably could do raccoon instead. Okay. Word is raccoon. I love this one. I love this one a lot. Actually, I need to go back and get myself one. Winter Woods. Isn't that, is that cute? cute? I love the little, um, I don't know, Junko or whatever the bird is. I know the there's just so much going on in that. There's a lot of stitching in these. It's, it's so cute. Look at this little card. Look at I this know. little pattern. It's like whole <laughs> font stitching in the back. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, use the word raccoon if you want to win Prairie Schooler Santa 2021. And oh, there are people that have stitched like all of them. I know, like every year they stitch mm -hmm. it. Maybe I'll start this year. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> oh, you mean start from now and go forward? Oh, okay. Oh, no. I'm not going to go back to the nine. Your way back. <laughs> the well, last I 20 might. years. I'm going to retire one of these days and I'm going to have true. unlimited time. That's true. It would make a really cute quilt. Would Wouldn't be. that be cute if you did a patch, like oh all these gosh, patches and then yeah. quilt it around it? And... You know, this morning they, they got up and went to church to the to where they went this morning and I slept right through my alarm. I didn't even hear you guys. I felt oh, really, really bad. Yeah. yeah. I had set my alarm and 
I, I just you got up. no, I stayed up too late I'm stitching here. on that joyful world. So I had content for today. See my sacrifice for you guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> had no personal investment in that at all. It wasn't just that you didn't want to put it down. No, it had to be. <laughs> so sad. One more thing to do. Um, but what was I gonna say? Um, you didn't you slept in this morning. Yeah. Oh, so I got up and my husband was in working on his computer, working on a job that he's doing for our friend with some drafting and he silence in there. I didn't hear a word. I came in the living room. I sat down. I didn't turn the TV on. I didn't have any podcasts on. I had nothing on. Just sat mm -hmm. there. He didn't say a word to me for two hours. It was <laughs> silent. It was like my, I got so much stitching done this morning. <laughs> he just totally ignored me. It was wonderful. <laughs> I can't wait for retirement. <laughs> It'll and, be like that every morning. I know. Well, and we we are looking at some property. Possibly, we weren't. We really don't really want to build, but if we if the right piece of property comes up, we'll build. And so he's already kind of drafted like our our real realistic house, and then there's our dream house. And they're not that much different, just a little bit more square footage. Mm -hmm. But in the dream house, we each have our own little tiny office. <laughs> and mine would be office slash craft room because I'm actually still working full time when we move. So I do need my own office. We cannot share an office at that point when he's home all day. No way. No way. No way. So anyway, I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah. Do you have plans? Yeah. No, I have plans. I'm still working on my, trying to get my Wipco things here. I'll think about it. Well, I, sh I brought what I have to work on. So my magazine monthly, I did not work on yet, but it's, it was, um, what's a oh, bird. Bird was the theme for um, Robin's birthday month. I don't have a good color picture of this, but it is in from November, 2012, September, October, just crossed. September, oh, yeah. October, just cross stitch. I started it in November I last year. Starting this. Yeah, and it's really boring. I mean, the stitching or the color, the, co the this, black and white. This, picture. yeah, whirling, whirling, twirling, copper and brown, scarlet and gold. They blanket the ground, and I don't have very. Oh, actually, I didn't have too bad of a start. Actually, I like that fabric too. No, it's kind of a cocoa. Uh -huh. What's it called? It's called Swiss Cocoa Legacy. Oh, that's pretty. The so I not do. Coming through very well, uh -uh. I, feel like. I do have one little bird and a leaf. So this um, is what your plan is to work more on this? Yeah, that's my focus piece. I think oh, I have bird. Yeah. Yeah, for bird. And I thought, because like I said that's before, cool. it's all very, very fallish colors. Yeah. Um, yeah. is to bring back projects that I started last year that didn't get much love that are gonna get more love. What? <laughs> uh, there's a lot of stitches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for nodding up my thoughts. <laughs> Look at this color. Look at mm -hmm. these variegations. Let's see. I think I tried to show this before and it doesn't really care. Yeah. There's just a lot of man. I know you can't really, it doesn't come through on the camera, mm -hmm. but it is. Is that one? That one does a little more here. You can see a little bit of the darker. Oh, so like get away. Sun went away. Yeah, our sun went yeah. behind a cloud. The lighting isn't the same as it was when we started. Oh my gosh, it's so nice out here right now, you guys. But you know, by the middle of the week, we're going to be in the mid 90s again. Ugly. Did you or, put my floss back in here? Or 106, yeah. Yeah, they're going to be hotter. They're going to be 104, 106. So that has to happen this week. And then I'm hoping to finish my three more, two and a half hours on Sunflower Fairy. But then my other for July was to work for Whipgo was to work on my Cardinals. Mm -hmm. And I haven't shown that for a while, so I was just going to show it really quick. So I started right down the middle. Oh, that's I really love that. <laughs> that weird. Yes, <laughs> you open it up and it's just like I know. straight down a line. It's a lot of half stitches coming up. White half stitches. Let's go so fast though. That's the awesome thing. Yes, I wish they would look right. Wonderful. Yes, they, they look right what? to me. I just I don't know. They look like background stitching. There's right. that, and then my other piece for July was. You know they go twice as fast. I know. I, I, guess. I know. I know. I love half stitches. She's expecting great things from me. Is the loose feathers the three seasons? It. Thank you, honey. Oh, wow, this fabric. I forgot how heavy this was. I know, it's a big piece. I'm doing the summer. I started the summer. Smells really good. It smells good? Yeah. That's like a dye. It's whatever the dye mm -hmm. is. I think, where did I find that? Was that Misty Purcells? No, really hers are usually softer than that. Oh, no, it's a um, 25 count Lugana. Oh, that is 
got a computer. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know why. It just has a chemical. Maybe it's from the book. Anyway, so I don't have very much of a start. But, oh, I've seen some of these where they've gotten fall and winter. Oh, they're so pretty. So that was a, that was my, those two, Cardinal and this, these birds were my um, July with go. So I'm really, really trying, trying, trying yeah. to get going. And then my August ones was a year of Hawk Run Hollow. And which I started over and had very little done and um, a gather, which I do have a lot done on that. Yeah, you do. And I spun my wheel. So <laughs> later today, I'm going to do a little bit on Things of Summer by Alicia Paulson, mm -hmm. trying to get that done. And then Monday and Wednesday, one of those is a winter day and one of them is a Christmas day. And my Mary and Minty came up. So I'm going to work on that twice, which was mm -hmm. the free pattern by, you know, Minty. Ready today. And then Tuesday, again, my year of Hawk Run Hollow pulled up. So it'll count for my, I mean, it'll help me get going on that. And yeah. I had started a piece. I don't know if I started it. I think I started it for Mania because I let myself start three things. Mm -hmm. um, is Have You Any Wool by, oh. I think, Brenda too. Is that one? I think it might be. And then Friday is my fall stitching and squirting around came up, which is by, you can look for that on um, Misty Purcell, Luminous Fiber Arts. Yeah. And Saturday, sad little piece came up, but I'm going to keep working on it. It was a magazine monthly start. I've had it on several. Yeah. It's not that big. It's just a little tiny pill. It or no, no, it's, it's not a printer problem. It's no, it's not a printer problem. It's just the way that the PDF was saved. It's my little bloom. It's it's not that hard. I don't know why I'm not doing it. I just need to finish it. Yeah, I've had it's. I've used it on magazine monthly. It was a start, and then I used it to fill in um, on the acrostics a couple times, and yeah. I'm still not done with it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what my plans are. I wanted. I and of course working on my joyful world that has to keep happening. Yeah, I'm so I love that piece so much. I um only had one August goal which was Snow Queen. So I've been working on my Snow Why Queen. Why do you only have one? Because my other one I had finished. It was oh, Joyful that's World, right. And I had finished that oh, pattern yeah. last year. Yeah. Or like Your earlier border. this year. The border. So I've been working on Snow Queen. I have five. No, I have, yeah, like five more hours. Are you doing it double or so just one? I need to double up because I had, I think it had been called before. Where is it? Snow Queen. No, maybe not. I don't know why it says double up. Why would I double up? Because you didn't have another one to do. Oh, because I didn't have another one to do. I think mean, just to make progress, maybe, but you don't have to. I'm just working. Well, what I ended up doing is I've been working on all my old whip go goals that I haven't finished up. So almost taking that as a free square, even though it's not free, because I technically did it earlier. Right. So instead of doubling up, if I don't have time to double up, what I am doing is I'm going back. So I still have an hour and a half about on my Barbara Bergeau Friends piece mm -hmm. for my whip go goal from another month. And I think on the way home today, I'm going to pull out my summer meadow poncho that I'm knitting and work on that. Oh, yeah. Because I still have probably five hours, five and a half hours left to go on that for the month. Well, to finish that goal. Okay. And then I also still have six hours on that quarry. I haven't pulled that out since I finished it that other time. How do you still have six because I had, hours? Because I had a May. It was a mania. Yeah, but how many hours did you commit to that during mania? I don't remember, but I did finished you have an that. Hour, did you have an hourly commitment? Because you worked on it a lot. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Anyway. Maybe I just worked on it a lot. And then when it got called, I never. You were tired of it. Yeah. So I still have six hours left to go on that one. And I just need to pull it out a little bit at a time. Yeah. So I'll keep, I want to get at least another corner done on my Biscornu. Mm -hmm. um, like at least. Oh the yeah. Other I'm working on that too. <laughs> but I'd love it if I could get two <laughs> corners done so that I only had one left and could start on the back the next week. Um, And the, so I'm going to work on my Biscornu and see if I can get that done. I'm going to try to get, finish up that whip go goal for my Barbara Bergeau Richards. I'm going to start my alpaca drum. Uh -huh. And I will probably keep working. Oh, I need to, I'm still trying to do a tree a day on my, on that stocking. Hmm. That sounds like pretty decent goals. I should yeah. probably write them down so I don't forget. Maybe I'll start this. Oh yeah. Maybe I'll start the one Aunt Nancy gave me. Yeah. Oh, I love working on that one. I forgot to grab it. I did put some more stitches. Did you? I was working. I put in that. the gold, and it looks so cute. Oh, oh I'll share it? that next week. No, I didn't remember it. I don't know. Okay. Why well, I forgot to grab that piece? So cute. I'll put more stitches in this week. Okay. Okay. 
Hang on, I'm writing down my goals so I don't forget. Finish. Finish. Um, life update. My child yeah. left and his wife left on Thursday. Um, they're winging their way to Indianapolis as we speak. They, I miss them a lot. Well, they were living here, so it's like a daily. They were missing. living here, and it was so. Um, I was telling Sarah, it my my um, melancholy. I, I don't even want to say sad, because I'm not. I'm. I mean, I'm sad, but I'm not like grieving because they're not. You know, they're going on to live their life, and it's a good thing. It's you know, it's just one of those bittersweet mom moments, I guess. But um, I I am. Um, they left early in the morning and um well not early but like eight so i had been up working and um they left and i was like um my boss sends out an email every day or every other most days and just says this is what i'm working on because we're all remote so then we kind of know when we can when she's going to be available if we need help or if she's just, you know today's going to be a day of meetings don't even try to call me kind of thing it's fine so um I just usually delete them. I just figure, okay, whatever. I don't, none of us really respond. It's just like an FYI. Well, I responded to her my day because she started off. It's been a busy day so far today. And then she listed what she was doing. So I responded and said something to the effect of it. My, it's been a busy morning. I got up, I hugged, I hugged a lot. I hugged my son and daughter-in-law a lot. And then I cried. And then I drove to get donuts and I cried. And then I went to Starbucks and got a coffee to go with my donuts and I cried and then I because this is really what it was I mean literally I walked into this little donut shop it's a little um family owned um it's been there forever it's just a little hole in the wall they have the best donuts and I walked in and I thought I'd pulled myself together pretty good and this little gal she's standing there she's young and she goes how are you today I said I'm not very good and I started to cry and I said my son just left he's moving to Indianapolis she goes oh I'm so sorry she goes I just can't imagine I have four little kids of my own I said oh I have four and this is the baby and so she was really understanding and I got tears so then I pulled it together I'm in the drive through line at Starbucks and I start crying again and so and then I and then I said I and I drove and took donuts and a coffee to my husband on his mail route and I cried and then I came and then I said and then I cried and I said and every song on the radio made me cry and then I got home and I pulled it together and I'm trying to work now but it just um but I think what I thought about was because we lived without them they moved out of our home last June they were out of our home from June till May and they were here for like two months it's not like they were you know and he's been gone before he lived in Mexico for a year it's not like I've never not had him around but it was such I think what hit me was it was such an intense two months we they moved in it was kind of a you, you if you've been watching this you know how I've talked about what a chaos that was and they had their big dog and then there was the wedding and there was lots of stuff with the wedding. And then we had their dog when they went on their honeymoon. And then when they got back, they were barely here when they had to go pack up their moving pod. There's just been a lot of intense emotional things. And I think that's why it felt so um, strong mm -hmm. that day. And I'm fine now. I mean, I miss them and they give me updates. And it also doesn't help when your child looks at you and gives you a hug and he cries too. <laughs> when my boys cry, I cry. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, he's, we're a very close family and he, you know, this could be five years before they're actually move out of there based on schooling and stuff. So, mm -hmm. and his, and I watched him say goodbye to his two brothers. And I think he really does view his brothers as his best friends. And um, it'll, you know, it'll be when we start doing, if we start posting about family get togethers, I know that's going to be hard for him to know that he's not here, but that's, that's life. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, you have to do it kind of been there just, yeah so yeah. anyway that was the big event otherwise not a whole lot other than you guys coming over it's been a pretty quiet week for me yeah well, i've been just still studying away <laughs> studying and studying you're taking your test next week on the 18th so okay. this week i'm going to take some practice tests and that will really help me gauge am mm. i ready or what else do i really need to focus on studying yeah. the last week yeah but other than that, I had gone. You just take that it huge... whenever you want. Or do they only offer it? Yes, you can now schedule it to take it at home. Mm. And there's like a webcam prop, a proctor through your webcam that's like on, I guess, the whole time. Wow. And so they can make that's sure you're not cheating and stuff. And it's 180 questions or something like that. So a couple hours long, and mm -hmm. you just yeah, you go on the website, 
and you just select the time you want. So I just chose Wednesday, August 18th at 10 o'clock. I was like, that's Jesse's home. Mm -hmm. We can work from home that day usually. Mm -hmm. So the girls have like somebody else, if there's something they need to yeah, ask. I won't bother you. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I feel pretty ready. Is it timed? Yes, it is timed. I think it's two hours. Okay. But I'm a pretty good test taker. I used to be a pretty good test taker. Don't know if I still am. Is time, it just multiple choice or do you have to write? I think it's multiple choice. I think it's all, yeah, it's all multiple choice. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty good at those. I mean, it's been a long time since I've done any kind of academic yeah. testing. So <laughs> we'll see. I know. I mean, I'm nervous, but I have really studied hard and so yeah. much of it You're came back. I mean, I have a master's degree, so it's not like this is new material. Right. This is all stuff. Yeah. For the most part, it hasn't changed that much. Yeah. There's a few things probably research-wise that have changed yeah. overall, treatment models and blah, 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 all that stuff. Yeah. I just like used to be more confident in test taking though. So yeah. if I like end up feeling like I'm second guessing myself, then that might make it harder. But Do you pay so for it and you get to retake it as many times as you need to? I have a feeling you'd have to pay to retake it oh. again. You can retake it, but I think you'd have to pay. Okay. Was, such a ripoff but i did buy some practice tests so i can literally take it almost mm -hmm. up to 10 times prior even though it won't be the same test but it's like last year's test or so you know it's like 2018 and how many can the question i mean yes and so that's probably pretty similar yeah i mean of that. i'm asking you the same they want they want to make sure you have the same basic info yeah knowledge yeah but i did kind of start to like freak out a little bit because then jesse and i were talking and i was like he said, you probably need a business license and you probably mm -hmm. need a this. And, a this. and I'm like, oh my gosh. You know how hard that is? No, I don't know how hard You is. fill out an application and they anything. give it to you. You, you don't, dad has one. I know. I just, it's not, I think it's like the logistics of like, but you got to do and taxes. Then I need to, yeah. So he's like, you probably need to have a separate bank account that we probably need to go open a separate business account for you. And mm -hmm. then you probably need this. And then I was like, okay, yeah. Cause that'll help keeping track of the taxes. And then, mm -hmm. and then I need to buy like materials. Cause I really need to have some assessment materials and those tests are like several hundred dollars. And I was just like, okay, okay, we can do, I can do this. Like it was sort of sinking in that the next steps are kind of, it's not like you're just going to casually look at this kid and go, yeah, you well, might want to try this or that. I mean, like, I would to, like to be very yeah, professional. Right. I want to be able to write assessments that people can take and use yeah. at like another clinic or whatever. So yeah, I mean, sometimes kids would be coming with me maybe with a, report already done if they had an assessment but yeah I want to be able to offer assessment and about you like mm -hmm. all of that and I want it to be good yeah but, but it was interesting because in my um studying when it was talked about the chapter on standardized testing versus like kind of informal testing the bent is now to do more informal testing mm -hmm. and standardized testing doesn't really represent very well you want me to tell you something a large problem. won't but matter for you it won't matter for me but it matters for school therapists and other people and if you want to get paid by an insurance, insurance company you better have a standardized test yeah they exactly. don't care what your opinion is so and i am not i probably will start not billing yeah. but eventually i would like to be able to be at a point where i could figure out how to be credentialed yeah. with at least a couple yeah um insurances yeah. for my clients but if you're going to start off private play you don't have to worry about but it. i am going to just so i am really excited though when i think about it i'm feeling excited about working yeah. with families and stuff. How are you going to do this when you're homeschooling, baby? I don't know. I need to figure it out. <laughs> That's another thing. So, I mean, I'm probably going to just do like, I'm thinking I'll just do a morning or an afternoon a week to start with, depending on the availability of uh -huh. the, uh, people who are interested at this point. Yeah. And then add as I can. Yeah. Um, so I know I'm a little like, Oh, what am I doing? But it feels really exciting to kind of start. have an idea of yeah. where my next steps yeah. are. Like, this is what I want to do next. Right. Like, and you got to start somewhere and, and see where it goes. But yeah. Yeah. I think um, you sent that to the group text, but that's oh. okay. <laughs> She'll Never know. Um, yeah. I just need to start and just do it. Mm -hmm. And I have felt like this for almost yeah. a year, but I just need to be ready and go for it. You know. Um, you should call, reach out to Judy, Judy, see, mm. she started her own practice. Oh yeah, I should. Yeah. Uh -huh. Judy mentioned that too. And she, uh, and she does do insurance billing. So it's okay. not as scary because you're small. You're one person. Just it's totally different where I work. We've got like, I don't know, a hundred therapists that you're trying yeah. to credential and bill for and make sure you get reimbursed mm -hmm. and all this stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah. So. And like a huge part of me is doing it. Like I'm hard. I'm obviously going to bill and charge people for mm-hmm. it, but like, really, that's not why I'm doing this. Like the income will be lovely. Yeah. And help very helpful. Yeah. But at this point, like if I didn't go back to work at all, we would still be okay. Like we're doing yeah. okay. And, um, but at some point, but it's not like I'd want to be that. Like I definitely am going to, you know, charge, but yeah. And at some point your girls are going to be at a point where you're going to, you'll be in a good position to work and that money yeah. will be nice. Yeah. And I'll do your insurance follow-up for you, honey. I'll take on those insurance companies. When you retire. Charge you a small you fee and to do my billing, do my billing and my insurance. Christine would train me on how to do it. Yeah. There yeah. we go. We just figured it out. I have a little income coming in when I retire. Perfect. I didn't need to move to Yakima though. <laughs> she doesn't like it. I only I, hire people who are local. She doesn't like it that I'm looking that we're looking at. Well, they're moving further away than they are currently, but, but there won't be a mountain pass between. It's not that, that much further. <laughs> How much further do you think it is? It's like three and a half to four hours away. It's like it's four, not four hours. hours away. Yes, it is. Anyways, it's fine. But we're not going to. We just won't be together for lots of very often. Why? I'm going to be retired. I guess if I'm you're retired, be, we might be. I mean, until I retire. This is a conversation we have all the time. You're just kidding. Okay, you guys. Just How kidding. many of you moved away from your kids and got grief from your kids because you wanted to pursue your happiness? How many of you moved away from your kids and regretted it later? <laughs> how many of your kids moved away from you and didn't care how you felt when they moved away? Oh, I cared how you felt. Well... <laughs> not very much are you in the dentist There's i guess no... we need to go to some family counseling <laughs> no i've made no. peace with it but it is what it is it is what it is you moved away from me you you know i told no. you i mean it well, I when i say i want you guys to do what makes you happy i, know, I do mean it i, I just like to is. dig you yeah i'd like to tease you about it. Me of it's... course i would rather you move to yakima of course i would rather but i really i'm not mad about if it if you saw yakima you'd know why we don't want to live in yakima Dry cities I know. Yakima's not like a nice city. There's parts of Yakima. I will just be very honest with all of you out there. I would stay in the state of Washington if it wasn't such a crappy tax state. But Mm -hmm. I'm not retiring in this state and being taxed the way we are. I just can't. Just if I'm going to make a move like that, I'm going to make it so that it's financially. They just let her get up when you're having the baby. I don't know. That baby's being a little (laughs) hot today, though. Anyway, we love you no matter where you live. Here's a here's a fun fact. My son calls baby Junie a spicy little meatball. <laughs> Based Here's, off this is son. another fun fact. Whenever they send me a picture of her on my phone, I kiss my phone. <laughs> Junie, I love you. <laughs> the girls make fun of me so bad. You should see mom. <laughs> oh, it's always fun to come see baby Junie. Yeah, baby Junie got held a lot. She gets held a lot anyway. Maybe Junie comes and visit me She's in the so morning darling. in my office. Oh my gosh. I know. And she, I said today, they, Cassidy brings her in like when she first gets up in the morning. She's still in her little sleeper and her little face is all rosy from being in her little bed and her little sleep suit. And she walks in with her on her shoulder and she turns her around to see me. And then she's like, like, like she's so surprised match. to see me again. Like every day I'm in the same spot. Still here. I know, I know you, you're still here. <laughs> anyway the nothing best. better than the baby granddaughters that's for sure well grandsons too but i only know i only know granddaughters so well, that's life and your life, life is you know it's dog days on. of august really mm-hmm. i've yeah. never wished for fall as much as i can wish for fall it sucks everybody's wow. i think Everybody's in our happy. state in a lot of states over here on the west coast i think the east coast they, Sam and Ashley have had like a ton of rain on their trip. They've been going across, they went across uh, wa- Eastern Washington, Idaho, Montana, um, North Dakota, down into Washington, into Minneapolis. And now they're into, into Wisconsin, but they've had a lot of thunder and lightning, rainstorms, really nasty storms. And I'm like, we got rain for the first time the other night in 50 days, 50 days. Yeah, I'm not even sure when we last, we had some sprinkles. We're like Seattle, like folks. real sprinkles, yeah. like a couple drops. That was like while we were raining. I wouldn't be while we were driving. I wouldn't yeah. even notice it was raining if yeah. we hadn't been driving into like the three raindrops that fell. Then the next day it was just really humid because it rained and then it got warm. So I know you guys don't want to hear us complain about our weather, but <laughs> I'm ready for fall. Yeah. I went into Hobby Lobby, you guys, and oh, all their fall stuff was out. 
I wandered the aisles and then you get farther back and there's Christmas stuff out. And oh, I was very tempted, but I didn't buy any of it yet. It was not on sale yet. I got a hummingbird who's very unhappy that we're in this territory, I think. Um, so anyway, fall is coming. It's only a few weeks away. I know. Yeah, we're getting ready to start school and oh, everything oh. in September. Hey, update. Canning jar lids. Found some on Amazon finally. They're expensive. Mm -hmm. We figured they were about 50 cents a lid. Which was less before they, when we were looking, they were a buck a lid. Yeah. And um, can't figure out why. Can't figure out why we can't find lids. I don't know. You'd think after a year, people would have caught up with, I don't know. Ball and Kerr, it's all they do in America is make canning supplies. <laughs> what have you been doing for the last year? <laughs> don't understand. Don't it's aluminum. I don't know. Maybe they're not aluminum. No, they're aluminum, aren't they? I don't know what they're making out of. Metal. Making out of. So that is on my horizon, though. Canning in the next yeah. couple of Oh, weeks. yeah. We picked blueberries. Maybe I'll put some pictures of the girls and I. Oh, There's yeah. a blueberry farm not far from us, like 10 minutes away. Because we live, you know, out in the country. And so we drove to it, which we've done every year. We do. It's nice. There's nobody <laughs> to bug us mm -hmm. around. And um, so we went to Blueberry Hill Berries, which is such a sweet name oh, because cute. we always think of um, blueberries for sale. They go picking on Blueberry <laughs> Hill. And in fact, they've put, we took you guys there and we got the sorbet. Do you remember when we did that? Last year or two years ago. Did we? Yeah. Didn't we? Maybe mm. not. We didn't take you and dad there? Oh. No. To go pick blueberries? No. To just to have sorbet. Oh, we might have done that. They have like a little, like mm -hmm. not a farm stand because it's more of a treat stand when you pay for what you view picked mm -hmm. they also have sorbet no, blueberry lemonade oh we need not. to do that sometime. we talked about doing it i think i don't know how much longer they're going to be open for yeah. the season but they have delicious berry sorbet mm. oh so the girls and i went early wednesday morning it was already 80 something degrees so we were sweating to death but we picked berry i mean it's yeah. like 20 degrees cooler than it is in the yeah, afternoon right we picked I don't know, probably 25 pounds of berries and i froze most of them we ate a, we ate a lot of them Did but you? i kind of think we might go back this week and just get a couple pounds for fresh eating and maybe do a batch of jam or something because I didn't make jam. I didn't have time this yeah. week. So we did that. That was, that was really fun. So I haven't done any canning or anything other than that. I have three blueberry bushes over here yeah, that usually have a ton of blueberries them. and they're nothing this year. Nope. Nothing. Was there no blooms or anything? We bloomed, but I oh. think what happened was um, I'm the only one that does watering around here ah. of the pots and the, I've been watering like I've been watering my big trees even. Yeah. Um, when I was in Yakima, mm -hmm. when we had that heat wave. When I had my surgery. Uh huh. And I don't think anybody just watered them, and they need so much water. water. Blueberries need a ton of water. Set. Yeah, they need a lot of water, yeah. and so it's the first year we've never gotten yeah, blueberries. I that was weird that there weren't mm -hmm. any on there. None, none. And we do have plums mm -hmm. behind me, and they're taking a long time. But I've been blasting that tree trunk with water too because. Yeah. I know that, you know, they get good fruit, they need to have water. So yeah. it's just not typical for us to go this long. And we've been lucky to not have any wildfire smoke that we've noticed. We did have some smoke for a few days, but then it kind of blew out. Yeah, I'm, but they're talking, we could get some later in the month and that's usually when we get, mm -hmm. get it. So anyway, fall, 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 yeah. Thanks so, for watching. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, email us. If you want to join the Zoom. And if you have a corner picture. Oh, yeah. Send that to us. We love Any other picture.